vortex. I abruptly ended the last video because that's typically how I shoot videos. But, uh, I, uh, was talking quite a bit about, you know, this, this person that I work with who's an emotional basket case. And so a woman, you know, it's a woman. Yes, we're wearing our seatbelt tonight, you guys, because we're, we're trying to be good. Giving you criticism, because I can't handle it. I can't handle it, okay? I'm just going to assume that you hate me, and that's why you're criticizing me, right? Right? That's what women always think. That's not true. And here's the thing. I wasn't even attempting to be critical. I was just being funny. But I guess it wasn't funny, because women don't know what we're... <laughs> Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Blah, 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 blah. Women don't know what's funny. Women don't know what's funny. That's why they get mad at you when you said something funny. fucking funny cause that's how determined I am to find the good in it so we don't have to feel like shit we can laugh and maybe it don't make it go away but it still does something better than the previous whatever place like they're my family you know you know saying fam that's a restaurant thing don't steal it okay Is this hurting your ears? Because it's kind of sort of hurting mine.
supposed to approach the situation to have a better outcome. Maybe that's what's not supposed to happen. And I don't think I'd learn anything from the more easygoing, none of a positive experiences. It's a good thing, cause it's always gotta be a good thing. If you're gonna learn anything. What I mean by that, I have to, <laughs> if I hear myself say something and I'm like, wow, you just contradicted yourself. Okay, so um, it's good, you can make it good. If it's bad, if it's troublesome, if it's really stressing you out in any kind of way, I was noticing how this situation, I've been in this so many times, it's not even funny. Um, be quiet, Florida. That's the same of my vehicle, by the way. He's he's blowing his, his fans right now. He's, he's cooling off. But um, what, what was I talking about? How you've talked about this before. Uh, what was it though? Because you talk about a lot of things over and over and over again. Um, way happier than my other chords that we were playing just now. Um, okay, um, so I think I was trying to talk about how uh, I contradict myself and I said that things are good even if they're bad. People like this person, she keeps pissing me off and doing this and just like she gets way more pissed off at me. Like, I'm talking livid. Like, she, you know, just starts throwing shit and yelling. And it's, like, fucking crazy that you have to deal with that. Like, outside of school. You know? Like, no. I guess people, like, they just don't deal with their, um, their childhood. And they just have all this stuff built up. And... I guess she felt like I invalidated her or some shit. Um, maybe I should have said, I'm sorry that I invalidated you. Maybe I'll say that to her if she talks to me again. I'm sure she will. Whenever she needs uh, attention again, she'll talk to me. Um, if there's nobody else around, of course. Um, She had the other girl that I talk about who wants her seal of approval, who's also a fucking narcissist, but she's like a covert narcissist and you can tell. And like their facial expressions are just fucking vindictive and manipulative and like such a woman, such a woman, such a woman. You have to work to be a better one. To acknowledge that you've been a shitty one And especially acknowledge that Part of you really enjoyed being a shitty woman I mean Society is like pretty much encouraging you to be like that So They can bitch about women but they act just like them that's the thing. That's why I'm trying so hard not to emulate this sort of behavior in the slightest. But I know that I do just a little bit. So I'm calling myself out nonstop.